Okay guys, so this is going to be a basic tutorial uh, on how to set up and how to use grid. It is going to be from a healer's perspective. Um, however, even if you're just going to use grid as a basic uh, raid frame uh, replacement, you'll find some tips in this as well. So right here we're on the add-on list. Um, I'm going to show you the add-ons that you're definitely going to want to get as well as a few optional ones. First of course is grid. Grid indicator corner icons, grid indicator corner text, grid indicator side icons, grid mana bars, grid status hots, grid status raid debuff. And if you're a priest, uh, perhaps not so much holy, but I find it indispensable on my discipline priest, grid status shield. What this add-on does um, is it estimates the remaining absorption on your shield, so it takes into consideration both Power Word Shield and Divine Aegis. Optional are Grid Unit Menu, uh, just allows you to keybind uh, the basic menu that would pop up when you right-click any of the uh, other unit frames. Grid Dynamic Layout. This sorts into separate groups your tanks, healers, ranged DPS, and melee DPS. I find it very helpful, especially in 25 min uh, raids, um, when you need to prioritize one group over another. Grid status main tanks. Uh, this just shows an icon whenever anyone's flagged as main tank in the uh, default Blizzard raid unit also going to want a click cast add-on. I like click. What this does is it allows you to bind your heels to mouse clicks and mouse click combinations. So let's go ahead and load in. Okay so this is what my grid looks like normally. Um, I like these longer bars. It kind of gives me the feel of a health bar. Uh, and I like it shrunk a little bit from how it would normally look uh, through the default. Uh, of course, keeping in mind the fact that when I'm in a, a especially a 25-man raid, I, I want this to be large enough so that I can get the information that I need, um, but I want, don't want it to cover up my entire viewing uh, screen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edit in a quick clip of my use of grid, how it looks when I am healing in a raid, and I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. You can see here in the Malagos fight how I have the raid uh, frame set up for grid, um, how it's positioned, it's very front and center. Um, also you can see the indicators, the icons that pop up that give me the information that I need, what hots I have on the target, as well as the remaining time. Okay, right now I am going to load the default grid, uh, what it's going to look like uh, when you first start it up. So the slash command is just slash grid config. And I'm going to load up a default profile. And that's what grid looks like uh, when you first get it out of the box. Um, now, one of the first things that I'm going to customize here, I don't like this border, and I don't like the background either, so I'm going to take those off. So what you're going to want to do, go up here to go to Layout, scroll all the way down, and right here you can see Border and Background Colors. It also includes Transparency, so I'm going to go to Border, take that all the way down, and the same thing with Background. Now I want to change the, the size and the shape of the bars, uh, so I'm going to go to frame, pop that out and go to advanced. One of the first things I'm going to hit is enable center text to indicator. Uh, that's just going to add another line of text on the inside that I can put. 
and scroll down. I like the default font, but you can always change that as well. Kind of try ones that you like. I'm going to take the font size down from 11 to 8. Frame height down to 23. These are just the settings that I have default on my other healers. So I'm just going to copy those. Frame width is 84. By default, grid will show health depletion from top to bottom. Um, so just to show you what I mean, let me take a little bit of fall damage. And you'll see that. So it depletes from top to bottom. Um, I want that to go from right to left. Um, that's why I lengthen the bars like this. So right here, orientation of frame. I'm going to change that to horizontal and you'll see how that changes the health depletion from right to left. Now, I also want to change um, the length of characters in my name. Let's heal myself up. Um, by default, uh, the character length is 4, and I'm going to go ahead and push that up to 12. Uh, so that you should be able to see the entire unit's name right there. Um, another thing that I'm going to change, uh, we've got these two lines of text right here, and as you saw, um, the unit name is being covered by incoming heels, if you just saw that. So I'm going to change, I'm going to drop the name down to the second line of text by going to center text, scroll down to unit name, and turn that off and go to center text 2, scroll down, and turn it on. So it's going to show it right there, even when there are incoming heals on the unit. Briefly, I'm going to show uh, how to set up Click. Uh, once you install it, what you're going to want to do is just go over here to your spell book, and it's going to add an additional tab at the bottom, which is Click Configuration. You're going to click that, and it's going to pop open this menu. And basically, what you're, all that you're going to have to do is you're going to go to a spell. So let's say in the Resto Tree, um, I want to do Rejuve. Um, so as soon as I've got this panel opened up right here, I can just mouse over Rejuve and click uh, with my mouse the button that I want to bind that spell to. So I'm just going to left-click this. Now, that's already bound because I've already got this set up, um, but it's going to populate your list over here with everything that you've bound. Um, you can also do combinations such as control click, uh, shift click, uh, right click. If you have multiple buttons on your mouse, you can also use those. Um, so that's going to let you bind all of your spells. Um, I can uh, just suggest uh, at first bind Find it however you think is most intuitive to you, and odds are that'll probably change um, at the beginning until you settle into uh, combinations um, that work the best. So let's close that out.